Hey guys, it's me, Bat Grisham. Today I'm going to show you a gaming PC build for around $800. This is going to be the best possible build for $800, and it'll let you play just about every game you throw at it, at very high settings. Even resource-heavy games like Battlefield 4, the upcoming game Thief, and the very anticipated game Titanfall. Older and less resource-heavy games like South Park The Stick of Truth, Skyrim, and the extremely popular DayZ should be able to run maxed out with this system. This is an excellent PC to have for the next few years, but it's also good to remember that this PC is upgradable, so you can add on to this system when you feel you want more out of it. That being said, let's get started with the build. For the processor, I chose the AMD FX6300. This is a 6-core processor clocked at 3.5GHz, and it's actually very easy to overclock. Because it's a hexa-core processor, it's recommended for newer games like Battlefield 4 that take use of the 6-core design. More games in the future will be moving up to 6-cores, so it's an excellent processor to get started with. The 6-cores are also useful if you plan on doing any video editing, as the extra cores can really boost performance in that area. The FX6300 will run you about $110. For motherboard, I chose the Gigabyte GA970A UD3P. This motherboard is a good fit for this build as it supports overclocking with this processor. It also has two USB 3 ports, eight USB 2 ports, four memory slots, and it's overall just a perfectly solid motherboard with all the extras you'll need for around $100. For the graphics card, I chose the 2GB MSI GeForce GTX 770. After the graphics card mining fiasco involving the R9s, this is a great card to have on this build. A single graphics card can also run any game you throw at it at very high to maxed out settings, and it should last quite some time before an upgrade is needed. For those who want a bit more out of a graphics card, there is a 4GB version of this card available for around $50 more, which is good for an upgrade, and a good example of this is that it works extremely well if you plan on mining Skyrim. I'll leave a link for the card in the description for those who want to go with a beefier card. The 2GB MSI GeForce GTX 770 will run you about $330. Memory is not that hard of a component to go with, so I went with two 4GB sticks of G-Skill Ripjaws X-Series DDR3 RAM. It's rated at 1600MHz, which is plenty for your games and some multitasking. Now unfortunately the price of RAM is going back up again, which is never a good thing, so you're going to have to spend about $80 for 8 gigs. Hard drives are very simple components to pick, as they're constantly staying the same, and once again I'm going with the 1TB Western Digital Caviar Blue. The Caviar Blue is a very reliable card, a terabyte is plenty of space for your games, movies, music, pictures, it's just a great fit for anything you need to store. Now always remember when you are buying storage in a PC, there also is the additional SSD that can run alongside your hard drive. An SSD is one of the best additions you can add to a build, as it can boot up your OS quicker, can also store a few things that you want to run a little bit faster. If you do want an SSD, I would recommend getting a 120GB Kingston Hyper X 3K drive. It offers great performance of our 120GB SSD, and it comes in around $90. Just so you know, an SSD will not be added to the final cost of this build. This is just an added extra, and if you want to go with one, I'll leave a link in the description for one. It's your build, so do whatever you want in terms of storage. And when buying an actual hard drive, there is a small difference between the Caviar Blue and the Caviar Black, which is around $20 more. Now, unless you get a good deal or you just want a small bump in speed, you should go with the Black, but if not, the Blue will support your needs just fine. The Caviar Blue will come in around $60. Now up next is the power supply, which is, in my opinion, the most important part of any build. Mainly because you need power to run your system. Once again, always remember to never be cheap with the power supply, because it runs everything, and you definitely don't want your PC to catch on fire. So make sure you pick a good quality supply over a great sale price. Now my recommendation is the Corsair 600 watt power supply. 600 watts is plenty for this system, and it can also be used if you plan on upgrading your build. It's also 80 plus bronze certified, which means you get a high quality power supply, and it can actually help you lower your power bill. You can get this for around $55. The optical drive in this PC really isn't needed, unless you want a Blu-ray drive. And mostly, unless you use CDs, the only thing you'll ever use it for is to install the OS. I just went with a cheap, yet reliable reader and burner, which is a light-on. Simple, basic drive, I've had it for years, it'll only run you about $17. Now you can always upgrade to a Blu-ray drive if you want to put in an extra $40, so I'll link in the description if you want to go with that route. Now finally is the case. Now once again, this is where your own personal opinion or your general cheapness comes in. Cases can be up to the hundreds of dollars, so to keep this build moderately cheaper, but still have a great number of extras, I went with the Roswell Challenger. This is a great quality case, it has a simple style, and it holds everything together really well. It also comes with three fans, which is great to keep your PC cooled and quiet. It's your build to do whatever you want in terms of a case, or if you want a cheap, reliable one, you can get this for around $50. Well, that's about it, guys. This is my guide for an $800 PC that should last quite some time before an upgrade is needed. Now, the prices of any components will change often, so I'll leave a link in the description to PCPartPicker.com. It's a website where you can plan out your build online, and you can also see the lowest prices for the components that you need. That's it for this video, guys, so if you like this video and you want to see some more of them, click on the like button. I'll have three of the builds available for this month, one for a 400 600 and a $1,000 PC. Click on the links in the video when they're available if you want to see one of them. If you enjoy my videos, you can click here to subscribe to my channel. It really does help me out, and it shows me when I see some more of my builds. I hope to see you guys in my next video.